Hello and welcome to World Plan Day 2023. I'm here with Timo Stolenberg, CEO of Kit Concept GmbH, but known in the community as being our sprint master for many, many years. So uh, today we're going to talk about how to, ro uh, to host a sprint and how to make a sprint be effective. And of course, we have the pro to guide us to this. So first thing, Timo, tell us about a bit about you so everyone knows who they are listening to. Yeah, I mean, as said, my name is Timo. I'm in the Plone community since like, I don't know, 2009, I started my Google Summer of Codes where I became officially a part of the Plone, uh, Plone community, I guess, but I was involved like a few days earlier. Uh, yeah, I guess my, yeah, back, back, back in the days I did um, Plone Up Discussion. Uh, as my first core contribution and later from rest api then i helped with volto a little bit um and uh yeah i'm 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 still very happy to be part of uh of the blown community and and be active in the blown community um even though my responsibilities as a developer uh, slightly declined in recent years but um <laughs> yeah wow. You're still in charge of uh, releasing many important packages, so you are still one of us, one developer. So <laughs> glad to uh, hear. <laughs> I want to ask you, what was your first sprint experience in the Plone community, and how it was, when it was, who was there, and so on? Oh, oh my! Uh, I'm I'm not sure if I if I really recall it. Could have been open garden even. Um, I was involved in the uh, in the local uh, Zope community back then, so Zope was 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 still very strong um, here, and and I was involved uh, in, in a few local meetings. I, I I recall, but I think my first sprint was uh, was Plone Open Garden when I was doing yeah my Google Summer of Code and uh, living in Barcelona and, uh, and I went to, um, to, uh, to open garden. And I think it was the beginning of my, of my, um, of my Google summer of code project. Uh, and I was super excited. Um, but it was also, uh, it was also really challenging because lots of other, uh, very good developers tried to, uh, to solve this problem in, in, in different ways. Um, and I was just like, yeah, a student, right? So uh, I went there uh, and I met uh, Leonard Regebro, uh, who was like uh, super experienced Python Zoop developers, uh, and, and he he paired up with me. And uh, I can still imagine how I amazed I was at the way he was 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 working um, because he did test driven development, and I and I heard and read about that, and I wanted to do that, and I knew what a software test was and stuff. But but he was sitting with me. And uh, I think he, he built a prototype uh, uh, about uh, commenting before, and he was so incredibly e efficient, and he was doing that, and he was doing this short, those short iterations, and it was so much fun. Like just I mean, I was just sitting next to him, basically. I, I wasn't doing anything. I was just like watching, and I was like, oh, my God, I, I, I'm not smart enough for this, but I want to develop like this because this is so much fun, and I learned so much. Uh, from him, I'm, I'm really incredibly thankful to him for this experience, uh, and that was the base for uh, for Plonat discussion. And, and then I went on from there and, and totally got hooked into test room development, CI, CD, and all that stuff. Um, so actually, that was was an incredibly uh, important milestone <laughs> in my career, uh, and I think that was my my first sprint actually. Yeah. So it's interesting because you're you're mentioning uh, you go there as a a young person or a not so experienced one, and then you pair with people that know this in and out and have been working with uh, the technology for so long. And uh, basically, it's free training for you, right? Yes, That's absolutely. Good. And and that, that was so amazing for me because I, I was at university back then, and and I never had like mentors that were that high quality that I just found in the open source community. I was just like blown away by, by their knowledge uh, um, and, and what they could give me. Um, yeah, that was just amazing. 
And then a few years after, I do remember you being the sprint master for the Plum Conference uh, here in Brasilia. I'm in Brasilia right now, so it's uh, it's interesting the full circle we are. And uh, I I was amazed. I've been working with Plum for quite a long time, and uh, I was amazed how you managed to to basically organize and get things done in a sprint with so many people. So how did that happen? How did you transition from being a, a Paduan to be a Jedi master when it comes to, to a, a sprint? Uh, honestly, I have no clue. Um, I guess by just like watching other people and, and doing what, what they were doing. I mean, Martina Spelli like, uh, did amazing things uh, when it comes to organizing um, things in general and, and other people, right? And I, I never had the feeling that I, that like, that, that I sat down and, and thought about like, hey, what, what are you going to do? I just, I just did what I saw other people doing basically. And um, it's, it's funny, it, like, it's funny that you mentioned the, the, um, the conference sprints because like in my mind, that was never, that was never an effort for me. It was just like somebody at some point pointed at me and say, like, you organize that thing. And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, it's not that much work. You just go there and you like do a few things. Right. And then people do, do things, right. It's not, it's not rocket science because I saw it, saw it uh, before and community and, and conference sprints are really open. Right. I mean, the main purpose of a conference sprint is to get people in uh, people come and, and they just have fun. Right. You make sure that people pair up and have the same experience that, or I try to, to make sure that they have the same experience that I had back then. Um, and then it's pretty easy because like, yeah, it's like we have amazing people in the, in the community and, and you just have to give them the, the right environment and then it works. And um, yeah, conference sprints are, are really like about openness. I think in my mind, um, not the first goal is not to accomplish a specific goal during a conference, but just uh, introduce people to the, to the community actually. That's good. And actually, it's interesting you mentioned that because uh, one, of, one of the things I do remember going to my first film conference in Bristol and being part of the, of the sprints is how everyone is so welcoming. And even if uh, things do not uh, evolve as expected, everyone is so happy, especially if by sharing the knowledge. And uh, then at some point you transition, right? Instead of just being the sprint master, you start organizing sprints. And then there's the whole logistics. And uh, in a few weeks, we're going to have Beethoven Sprint 2023. That's huge. It's the biggest sprint we have outside conference. So tell me, why do you organize sprints? And how much work you, you need to invest in there? And uh, why do you do it? Uh, good, good, good questions. Um, so I think the, 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 yeah, the initial idea of organizing the sprint was just that that was fun. Right. I, I mean, I enjoyed so much like working with, with people. Right. Uh, um, uh, and, and, uh, I just wanted to have that like, uh, at, at our place. And I, and I thought like, why, why not doing it? And I remember that, um, doing a sprint uh, i mean organizing like my own sprint right or our own sprint was was indeed something that i put some thought into and where we did things a bit differently than than what what i saw before right um uh so the yeah the initial idea was just to invite people and 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 have fun but then i think when i organized the first sprint it, i think i was already pretty active with with Pro rest api um i had a specific goal in mind um, so I wanted to accomplish something, right? Um, so I thought that like it would be beneficial for the for the for the Plone community um, to sit together for a while and and to accomplish a, a specific goal. Um, and since then, this idea I think developed over the years uh, in, in in Beethoven Sprint. So basically, like every year, we sit together and think about um, what could be a good thing, what could be a good good goal to accomplish. Um, because when you have so many like smart people together. Um, that's an incredibly, uh, incredible opportunity, right? To, to really accomplish something. And if you can go into the same direction, 
um, it's just amazing what, what you can accomplish in just like a few days. Um, and when I saw this happening um, during the first sprints that when I came up with an idea, people actually like showed up from all over the world and, and helped me accomplish this idea or this vision um, that I had, I was just amazed and I put lots of effort into into preparing things, right? Because that's also an important part of the sprint that, that people might not see that um, when you have an idea, you need to go through like like tickets and and um, make sure that you have everything um, everything prepared so that pe when people arrive, often people arrive and they're just they're just there for the fun, right? So they come there because they like to hang 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 out with with uh, with the Plum community, um, but often they don't have specific goals in mind and they just enjoy working on stuff. And if you give them uh, a bit of structure and say like, hey, yeah, we have this idea, right? Like. Uh, why don't you want to work on this maybe, right? Then they automatically like, they grab things, right? It's not, it's not like that I, that I tell people what to do, right? That, that never works, neither like not in an open source community, right? Um, but you can, um, you can make proposals, right? And everybody is of course free to work on whatever they want when they come to a sprint. Um, that's the core idea. But um, I found out that um, if you provide people with a vision, and with steps that are needed to accomplish this vision, um, then it's pretty easy to work towards one direction. And then it's, as said, it's amazing what you what you can accomplish. Um, and over the years, um, I try to like continue to develop this this idea, uh, and that worked quite well, I would I would say, uh, uh, in in recent years. Uh, and we accomplish a lot when you look at Plone Six, for instance, right? I, I mean, lots of most of the stuff that that in Plone 6 now has been developed uh, during those sprints with, with very specific goals. Um, That's good. And uh, now you're a CEO of a company, right? You say you're not a developer, even though you're a better coder than most of us. And uh, I was CEO of a company, a Plone company, a long, long time ago, and I hosted some sprints. And one of the things I, I liked the most was the fact that all of a sudden I have this bunch of smart people sitting on my office and working in something that's moving the software I use forward. And of course, you go out for coffee or beer or pizza or whatever, and then you start talking and sharing knowledge and so on and so forth. For a company, like from Kit Concepts point of view, being the, the, the suit of Kit Concepts, <laughs> is it a good investment to host a sprint? I would say absolutely, um, but I'm not sure if it will work if you put that as a first thought. Um, because I like, at least in my mind, I try to have a clear separation between like, between what I do as, as a company owner and what I do as, as Timo, like part of the, the community, right? And it, uh, and it happened to me like the other, the other day, like, or like before Corona, like three years ago, uh, when we organized a few local uh, uh, meetups here. Um, actually, we hosted a, a Bonn.js sprint, right? We hacked on JavaScript and, 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 and React um, uh, here in Bonn. Uh, and uh, people approached me after that and they were totally new to this idea of like doing a sprint um, because uh, in Germany there are big companies that that host hackathons now right and it's and it's basically just it's either advertising or uh, or they're looking for people right um, so they have specific goals in mind and when we organized um, this this sprint here like people after that approached me and asked me hey Timur, that was like lots of fun right but wh why the hell did you do that and I was like Oh, that's that's an interesting question. Um, I, I guess I just like to hang around with people and hack on stuff, the stuff, right? And and then they asked me, but yeah, you have a company, right? I mean, are you are you hiring? Are you looking for people? And I was like, I started thinking, and I was like, sure. I mean, we're always looking for people, but but it's not the reason why I'm here, right? I'm here because I like to hang around with you folks and 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 hack on stuff, right? And that was it. Never crossed my mind like uh, that that this could be like. That I could use that for for a company, of course, for the company. I mean, it 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 it, it works out every now and then, right? You can meet people and um, you can you can do networking and stuff. So it's it's definitely beneficial, right? I would lie if, if that wouldn't be the case. But this is never my my first uh, thought, um, and I think that I think 
people are pretty smart and they 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 know if if somebody organizes uh, like an event for for a specific goal or for their own good or if they organize that for for the community right and um and uh, yeah that that's important and that pays back um i think yeah. in one way or the other right yeah, in the end, in the end, I do remember when Simply's organized the Cafe, Cafe City Sprint and then Cafe Dean Sprint. For us, it was like, okay, we have all these smart people in here. We have a clear goal for the community for to uh, for to to get something to the community. But honestly, the intangible of uh, oh, I have Gene Fulton and Alan running, sitting and uh, hacking on something. It's it was like. Mind blowing, because especially because uh, uh, when and that that goes especially for people in uh, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and uh, Africa, and South America. Of course, uh, if you if you're not really close by to one of the the development centers of Plone these days, it's basically. Uh, Europe, part of uh, the US, we have a bunch of developers in the US, but the US is big. We have the same thing in here. We have a bunch of developers in Brazil, but uh, uh, we have thousands of kilometers uh, uh, between us. So if you organize a sprint, is the chance of you to get these smart people to sit with you so you can talk without having to type like a crazy person or like Martin Aspelli because he types really fast <laughs> and uh, try to to get an idea out. So this is this is brilliant. And honestly, I do remember uh, Beethoven Sprint last year. The the best discussions we had for about the future of loan happened on dinners, not during the sprint itself. It's basically oh, let's go out and let's have beers and so on. And by the way, we have Beethoven Sprint happening. When is it? Yes. From 15 to 19, 19th of May, if I'm not okay. mistaken. Let me double check. <laughs> I think it is. It is. I approve yes. the sprint on the board, so yes. <laughs> so this is a strategic sprint, meaning we need to get things done. We are going to have uh, close to 30 people in there. But uh, we have other sprints coming up this year. Uh, we have on June 26, two sprints happening. One in uh, Ivaskila in uh, Finland, the Midsummer Sprint. It's from 26th to the end of the week. I believe it's 30. And we have one in Brazil on the 20, from 26th to 28th. That's the Caipirinha Sprint. We also are going to have the sprint from in September from the Zob community. And we're going to have, of course, the, the Plone Conference Sprint in uh, ABAR. So we still have lots of presential in-person sprints happening this year. And uh, it's awesome. We already had the Alpine City Sprint. That was lovely. Thank you, uh, Jens and Christina, for organizing that. And uh, the last question to you is, besides Beethoven Sprint, right? Because au concours, it's amazing, which was your favorite sprint and why? Oh my, that's that's so hard. To be, yeah, it, it, it's so hard to differentiate because, like, yeah, conference conferences were were amazing, right? In in Brazil, in Tokyo, San Francisco was amazing, uh, but but that, those were conferences, right? Um, uh, yeah, I talked about like my first sprint, right? Uh, in uh, Open Garden. That that was really uh, that was really a really important sprint uh, for for me as said. Uh, I I also remember the uh, the sprint uh, in 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 Arnhem from Four Digits. That was also like always like lots of fun. That those were great sprints. Um, but but to be honest, it's it's impossibly impossible for me to choose because yeah, it's it's just it's just always fun. And we had sprints in Barcelona. It's like uh, yeah. No, I can't. I can't. Like. Good. Good. That's the best possible answer. So thank you, Timo, for sharing a, a bit of your history and knowledge about sprints in the Brown community. It's awesome. I still consider you the, the best sprint uh, master. 
And uh, I would like to invite all of you to attend the sprint in the Prom community. Or if you're a company, you have uh, the space and time uh, invest in hosting a, a sprint. Uh, like the, that old film, if you build, they will come. If you host a sprint, people will come and it's going to be awesome. Uh, thank you, Timo. Thanks for having me. And I uh, hope all of you have uh, an amazing World Plan Day. Amazing World Plan Day, everybody. <laughs>